In this session, we are going to discuss the chest tube. What is the chest tube? A chest tube or a chest drain is a flexible plastic tube that is inserted through the side of the chest into the pleural space. As we can see in the figure here, the anatomy of the chest and the respiratory system and where is exactly the location of the chest tube. So it should be in the pleural space, not in the lung. Description. Chest tube are inserted to drain blood, fluid, or air, and to allow the lungs to fully expand it. The tube is placed between the ribs and into the space between the inner lining and the outer lining of the lung, which is the pleural space. What for? We need to insert a chest tube for a patient for pneumothorax, which is accumulation of air in the pleural space, pleural effusion, which is accumulation of a fluid in the pleural space, and those fluids could be chylothorax, which is the collection of lymphatic fluid in the pleural space, empyema, a, a biogenic infection of pleural space, which is pus, hemothorax, accumulation of blood in the pleural space, hydrothorax, accumulation of serous fluid in the pleural space. Also, we need it as a post-operative tube, for example, thoracotomy, esophagectomy, and cardiac surgery. Why not? The contraindications to chest tube placement include elevated coagulation profile, lack of cooperation by the patient, diaphragmatic hernia, scarring in the pleural space, or adhesions. Assessment. Before we start inserting the chest tube, we have to do the assessment for the patient. So, chest x-ray must be done, vital signs should be taken, laboratory values, especially coagulation profile, and physical assessment for the respiratory system and the patient in general. Chest tube insertion. The equipment you need to insert a chest tube, which I should be prepared by the nurse, sterile gloves, mask and gown, skin anti antiseptic solution, which are the chlorhexidine and alcohol, sterile drape, 4x4 four four gauze, a selection of syringes and needles, 21 to 25 gauge, local anesthesia, for example, lignocaine or lidocaine, 1% or 2% in the in the doctor order, scalpel and blade, suture. Chest tube itself, connecting tube, closed draining system includes sterile water of if under water seal being used and we need also dressing. Patient position. The preferred position of a drain insertion is on the bed slightly rotated with the arm on the side of the legion behind the patient's head to expose the axillary area. An alternative is for the patient to sit upright leaning over an adjacent table with a pillow or in the lateral decubitus position. Insertion should be in the safe triangle. This figure shows us the safe triangle. Nursing care. Position the patient according to the patient's condition. Swab the skin or site with alcohol with chlorhexidine. Prepare the site over the skin for local anesthesia with a short 25 gauge needle. Instruct the patient to be immobile and doing relaxed breathing during the insertion. Maintain a septic technique at all the times. Connect, pre connect properly the chest tube to the chest draining system. Observe for 
fluctuation in the tube on respiration, bleeding, leakage of air or fluid around the tube, attached to suction machine as ordered. If not attached to suction, the short tube is left open to the atmosphere. After the tube is sutured in place, cover it with vaselinated gauze and occlusive dressing. Secure a following up chest x-ray. Obtain the blood sample as ordered. Discard use supply in the proper waste containers. Report abnormal findings and responses of the patient immediately. Continuity of care. Assist the tube hourly for fluctuation or swinging, bubbling, and draining. Observe for air leak. Keep water seal level 15 to 20 centimeter. Keep patient in comfortable position without affecting the patency of the tube. Observe patient for any abnormal responses such as rapid shallow breathing, cyanosis, pressure in the chest, subcutaneous emphysema, or symptoms of hemorrhage. Do chest x-ray daily. Assess dressing closely and frequently and redress if needed. Check the tube connection frequently. For other indications, if it's not draining large amount of fluids, hemosurrus, serrus or pus, nurse can document the draining fluid every one hour. Mark volume of drainage, date, time, and initial should be placed. Always keep the draining system under the level of chest tube. For a, uh, for a post-operative patient and hemothorax, it must be checked hourly to figure out any intrathoracic bleeding. And if the drainage more than 100 cc of, water, of blood in the drainage for two consecutive hours, doctor must be informed because this is a sign for internal hemorrhage. Never clamp chest tube except momentarily when Changing the chest tube system, assessing for location of air leak, assessing patient's tolerance of a chest tube removal, when move the patient or for ambulation if there is a doctor order. There is a warning. Leave the chest tube clamp co caused attention pneumothorax and mediastinal shifting. So it's not recommended to keep it clamped all the time, only occasionally when we need. Always at the bedside, keep the clamp, normal saline, and goes 4x4. Don't secure drainage tubing to the bed linens or side rails, because this could lead to accidental removal of the chest tube. Removal of a chest tube. Before that, we have to do chest x-ray, and should be done after, before and after removal. Clinically, patient is stable. Vital signs and ventilation parameters are all stable. The equipment for chest tube removal, dressing tray, suture removal kit, antiseptic solution, chlorhexidine, two person, clamp if some tubes stay in, gelinate dressing, four by four gauzes, elastoplast tape, gloves, linen saver pad, pain medication, sedation as doctor order. The removal of the chest tube will follow the steps. Assess chest drainage for air leak. Explain the procedure to the patient. Have the patient practice taking a deep breath and holding it a few minutes. Pre-medicate the patient with pain medication. Discontinue. Suction of the chest tube, prepare 4x4 four four gauze with gelinette. Cut several lengths of elastoplast tape to cover the dressing over the removal site. Remove dressing over chest tube and clean the drain site with antiseptic solution. Remove sutures holding chest tube in place. Have the patient inspire maximally and hold his or her breath 
Remove the tube smoothly and rapidly. Apply pressure with the prepared dressing over the chest tube insertion site when removing. Then instruct the patient to breathe normally. Secure dressing with elastoplast tape. This figure shows us how to pull out the chest tube in a smooth way. After that, you have to keep an eye and observe the patient's breathing, observe vital signs, and of course, we have to do chest x-ray. Troubleshooting. If the chest tube becomes dislodged from the patient, quickly apply an occlusive dressing such as vaselinated gauze to the chest insertion site and observe for signs of respiratory distress. When the chest tube becomes dislodged from the drainage unit, clamp the chest tube while another nurse obtain an additional draining system or additional drainage unit to sit up and connect to the patient. Thank you for your attention.